All right, guys, welcome back. In the previous video, we completed our first thread. The first thread is just going to sit and listen for new connection from clients. And whenever a client tries to connect, it is going to accept that connection and store the data associated with that connection to a list. In this video, we are going to be creating the content of our second thread. The function of the second thread is going to be listing out all the clients that are connected to our server. And after seeing the list, we can select and connect to a very specific client. And after connecting to that specific client, we can send commands to that client and connect to that computer remotely. In this video specifically, we are going to be building our own command prompt or terminal, whatever you like to call it. And this interactive prompt that we'll be building will be used to fulfill the functions of the second thread. That is listing out client, selecting a client and sending commands. Now, if you notice the title of this video says creating a custom interactive shell. So what exactly is a shell? A shell is basically something which you can give commands to and it is going to execute those commands as functions and then it is going to give you some kind of output. So this command prompt which we have been using all this time is actually a shell. And for example, if you are using Linux or Mac, then you are using a terminal and that terminal is also known as a shell. So this interactive prompt that you are creating is actually a shell. And we are going to name our shell. For example, this shell has been named as command prompt by Windows. So we are going to be naming our own shell as a turtle. Why a turtle? Uh, basically, turtle have strong shells on their back. And that is why we are going to be naming our shell as turtle. And it's just a cool name. So we are creating a function and we'll call it start turtle. That is start our shell. And inside this, we are going to take the input in a variable called CMD and we'll use the function of input to get input. And inside this, we are going to use the prompt of turtle. And then we'll put a greater than sign. So what is this prompt and what we are doing with this line? So what we are currently doing is that, let's say we write DIR over here. So this DIR is going to be saved in the variable of CMD. And as you can see before this DIR, there is this current working directory with this greater than sign. Now instead of this current working directory, we are going to show the word turtle and the greater than sign. And after this, we are going to write something like list and we'll be able to see all the clients that are connected to our server.py file. So the next thing we are going to do is actually check whether the input given by the user of the server.py file that can be us or some random hacker is equal to list or not. And if it is equal to list, then we are going to show in a list kind of format all the computers, that is all the clients that are connected to our server.py file. How do we do that? The easiest way to do is, is just use an if condition. If CMD is equal to equal to list, then we'll put a colon and then we'll write a function that is going to show us all the clients. So we'll just create a function called list connections. I'm not going to create this function right now. I'm just going to write this function and in probably in the next video, we are going to create this function. But for now, let's understand what this function is actually going to do. And let's take an example of your friends. So let's say three of your friends, friends A, friend B and friend C is connected to your server.py file. And you want to basically see what kind of clients and what, what friends are actually connected to your server.py file and then select one of those friends. So our turtle shell is going to be showing us a screen, something like this, that is turtle and then greater than sign. So for example, in command prompt, it shows us the current working directory, but in our shell, it's going to be showing the turtle and then greater than sign. And after that, we can write any command that we want. So for example, if we write down list, it's going to show us a list of all the clients. So I'm just going to write another comment and the first thing is going to show is a client ID. That is the first computer that is going to be connected will have a client ID of one. And then it show us the name of the client that is connected. So let's call it friend A. And I'm just going to copy and paste it two more times because we are assuming that two more friends are connected to the computer that is the server and give it us a two ID and then the three ID. And this is friend B and this is friend C. So whenever you type in list, it's going to show you this kind of output and this kind of output will be shown by this list underscore connections function. Now, what is this select ID? This select ID is useful. So for example, let's say we want to connect to this friend B computer. So instead of typing 
select friend B, we can just type in select 2 and it's going to connect us to this second computer. And this is where our second else if condition is going to come in. So we'll just type in lf and inside this we are going to write select in cmd so what this is doing is basically it's saying that if an input if select keyword is there then do whatever is under this if else statement so for example if we write something like select uh, 2 So for example, if we type something like select So for example, if we type in something like select 2 then this is the whole input and inside this input there is this select keyword. So inside this LF condition is checking whether in the input the select keyword is there or not. And if the select keyword is there, then we are going to select the targets by creating a function of get targets. So let's create this function get target. And inside this target function, we are going to pass in the command that is the CMD. So for example, if the user has typed in select one, then the whole select one is going to be sent to this function. And it's going to return to us a connection object that we are going to save in a variable of con. So we are also going to be creating this function a little bit later so after we get this connection object we are going to check whether this connection object is empty or not so we are going to do that by using the if condition and we are going to type in if con is not none which will basically check if this connection object exists or not so for example while we are connecting to this client let's say or we are basically typing in list and it's going to show us all the kind of clients that are connected and in that meantime, this client gets disconnected for some reason. Then it's going to throw us an error if that connection is not there. That is why we are checking in this if condition, basically if connection exists or not. And if the connection exists, then we can send some kind of commands to that connection or that client. So after we check whether the connection exists or not, and basically we are checking is not none, then we can use the function of send target underscore commands and inside this we can pass the connection object and this is going to help us send commands to that client now in the else condition we are going to write so for example if we go back to our command prompt and instead of select to we type in some random command and press enter then it shows us this error thing which basically says that this command is not recognized so we are also going to do this for our command prompt that is our own turtle shell so inside this else condition we are just going to print let's print command not recognized let's make the c capital now let's actually format this properly because right now it's giving us an error in the else condition and that is because we haven't given it a proper indentation in this line so we'll just press backspace and then press the tab button and the error is going to go away from over here. Now to recap what we did in this video, we first created a function called start turtle and whenever this function is called, it's going to create a custom shell for us. And then we are going to take the input using this input function and instead of the current working directory, it's going to show us this turtle prompt. And then we stored the input in this variable of cmd. Then we checked whether this input is list or whether this input contains the keyword of select. The select is basically used to select the ID and this list is used basically to show all the current connections to the client. So if the user has typed in list, we are going to call this function of list connections and it's going to show us all the connections that are right now connected to the server.py in this kind of a format. Then we checked whether there is a select keyword in input or not and if there was, then we use the function of get target and we send the value of the CMD in this function. And this function is going to return us an object of connection. And then we check whether this connection object is not none. That is basically it exists or not. If it exists, then we can basically send commands to that connection. And if these both commands are not there, then we'll just print out that the command is illegal. That is command not recognized. So guys, this is pretty much it for this video. In the next video, we are going to implement this list connections function. So I'll see you over there.